giving and into his chorus with praise. So we certainly want to say praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. And as we get ready to go before the Lord in our Bible study on tonight, uh, we certainly uh, want to draw in our minds. I remember many women and children everywhere as we often say and pray that the Lord will continue to add and save and ask that the church sisters should be saved. And uh, pray that we'll be always mindful to be witnesses unto the Lord. Life has its struggles, life has its, its problems, but let us always try to be faithful uh, to our calling. And our calling is truly to be a witness. Everyone has that calling on their life to be a witness for the Lord. So let us be about our Father's business and prepare ourselves and be witnesses unto Him. Uh, Mrs. Quinn, you have a prayer request? Yes, pray for the, um, the leaders and, uh, and the whole body of Christ. Yes, yes. All right, let us our prayer. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly thank you and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for being a very present help in the time of trouble and the time of need. We ask you, Lord, that you sanctify our hearts and our minds and our spirits. And, Lord, we ask you that you bless us continually, that we draw closer to thee with a pureness in heart. And, Lord, we ask you to remember each and every request that's been made known in the name of Jesus. Bless our Bible study on today, and Lord, we ask you to grant to go by them, and Lord, we grant ears to hear the engrafted word of God to the saving of our souls. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 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 I want you to turn with me to uh, 2 Peter chapter number 3, and uh, this will finish up and conclude our study in uh, the book of uh, uh, Peter, 2 Peter chapter number three. Thank you, Lord. And Peter uh, certainly is an interesting book, first and second Peter, and uh, he makes it known uh, about his apostleship and his, 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 his writings and let us know that, that he is truly concerned about God's people and he's concerned about the church continuing on. Uh, the, the, the second epistle uh, was written uh, for the end of uh, his life, so to speak, and he was he was concerned about uh, false teachers and, and false prophets entering in, uh, trying to subvert or divert the the, the saints of God uh, in unbelief. So he gives a warning. For us to be on God, and we should always be on God. Uh, Jesus, when he took his disciples with him to the Garden of Gethsemane, and he begins to pray uh, toward the end of his life before he was uh, betrayed uh, on the earth. And uh, he told his disciples that, that were with him, he told them, pray ye, ye should enter into temptation. temptation. Uh, we have to watch watch and pray, lest we enter into temptation. Because Satan, he's subtle, and that, that word subtle means that he's shrewd, he's tricky, and we have to be on guard. Uh, you can't defeat the enemy uh, on natural means and through natural course of order. Uh, the Bible says our weapons are not carnal, but spiritual, mighty through God, and pulling down a stronghold. So you have to be spiritual, having on the whole armor of God to be able to defeat the enemy. And, and part of that armor is the helmet of salvation. And that helmet is geared toward protecting your mind. Right. Amen. We have to protect our mind and not allow uh, corruptible things to enter into our mind because from the heart it proceeded, Jesus said, the issues of life. Amen? He said, guard your heart with all diligence. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So as we look here to uh, 2 Peter uh, chapter number 3 and verse
verse number one, he says, This second epistle, beloved, I write unto you, both in both to in uh, I'm going to read that over my side. Deacon Phil, will you read from it? Somebody got some times I can't walk and shoot down at the same time. Uh -huh. <laughs> this second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, what, I, what I love about this epistle is, um, well, this end of this particular chapter, and he's giving you the reason why he's writing the whole epistle, but, but he wants to stir us up and put us in our pure mind. By way of remembrance, amen. So, so he really, literally trying to uh, encourage us, admonish us, amen. And we need that from time to time. We need encouragement. We need admonishment, amen. amen? Thank you, Lord, from time to time. And notice, he said, "I want to stir you up, uh, stir, stir up your pure minds." I'm going to Stir up your pure minds. Amen. Thank you, Lord. By way of remembrance, your heart being pure. He that is pure, the mind that is pure, uh, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall what? See God. See God. Absolutely. You will be able to see and understand the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. So we want to stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. So he's, in this particular chapter, he's going to bring some things to your remembrance uh, so that it will help you imagine your walk because, as we have already said, there are wicked people out there that are trying to deter you. Amen? Amen. Alright, read. That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before mm -hmm. by the Holy Prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and his Savior. Amen. So, so he says that he may be mindful of the words. The words he's speaking of here is the Holy Scriptures, the Old Testament, uh, the Holy Scriptures. And also, he's going to bring in some of the epistles of Paul that, 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 that were written as well. So he says uh, that he may be what? Mindful. Keep in mind. The scripture tells us, he says, he says, uh, let not God's word depart from your heart. Meditate on it day and night. Amen. Meditate on the word of God day and night. Uh, and, and that and that word uh, uh, is, is, is helpful to you so that you will remember the testimonies of God are sure. The testimonies of God will help us keep ourselves together. Amen? Amen. Alright, read. Knowing, knowing this that, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers mm -hmm. walking after their own lusts. Alright, now notice, he said, the first thing you need to know is that uh, in, uh, there shall come in the last days. And that's what we're in now. We're in the last days, and there's going to come scoffers. And those scoffers means that they're going to become people that are going to mock the gospel of Jesus Christ. They're going to mock the way of salvation. They're going to mock the way of holiness. They're going to mock your lifestyle in Christ. Amen? So you can't give in unto peer pressure and... and uh, the Bible tells us, and it, it, it expresses unto us, that we should uh, not uh, be swayed by men or women and the things that they do, but keep our hearts and our minds fixed on Christ. Amen. Regardless of, of who's doing what, we've got to be true to him. Amen. Amen. So he says, knowing this verse, that there shall come in the last days, and we're in that day now, scoffers, now notice, these scoffers are going to be walking after their own lust. In other words, they're going to be walking after their own evil desires.
desires. Uh, they, people out there have an agenda. Amen. Thank you, Lord. They have their own agenda if it's not God's agenda. If it's not a godly agenda, then it is an evil agenda uh, uh, as opposed to uh, holiness and righteousness. And you've got to watch amen, watch as well as pray uh, because uh, people have their own evil desires, uh, their own evil uh, reasoning for wanting to uh, sway you or turn you from a uh, 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 God to evil. So you got to walk. He says, walking after their own lusts, their own evil desires. Read. And say, there go. Where is the promise of this covenant? Now, now notice what he said. Uh, that's, that's, that's the argument that, that people are going to use. Uh, where is the promise of this covenant? You've been preaching and teaching that Jesus is soon to come, and he hasn't come yet. <laughs> where is the promise of this covenant? Read it. For since the fathers fell asleep, uh -huh. uh -huh. all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Now what he's saying here is that you're talking, that the people are going to say to you that, 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 that you said that God is going to judge and his judgment is going to come. And his judgment has to come yet. Uh, so, so what are you saying? People are eating and drinking. People are are, are, are sinning, uh, people are doing evil works, uh, but where is the judgment of God? Where is the punishment of God? Amen? And you say that these things are going to happen, and it hasn't happened yet. Uh, that's, how, that's how the Antichrist is going to come up against the church, or come up against you. All right, read. For that they willingly are ignorant of. Uh-huh. For this day are, for this day, go ahead, read. For this day willingly are ignorant of, uh -huh. that by the word of God, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing on the waters and in the waters. Now, now, remember in that first verse there, he said, I'm going to bring you into pure remembrance. Amen. I'm going I'm to stir you up. Bring you into pure remembrance. So here he's combating the argument about God not bringing judgment upon the earth. And here he's referring literally to the flood. Amen. He's saying that they're talking and don't know what they're talking about. Uh, what verse was that? Verse 7. He says, For for this day willingly are ignorant of, oh, you know, not, not, not counting. With God, uh, uh, when he sent the flood, and, and by the way of Noah, you know, uh, uh, he saved uh, eight souls, Noah's family, and, and, and they were uh, not counting that as the judgment of God. But we know that was the judgment of God, because the Bible says that God sent that judgment because the people's hearts were on evil continually. Amen. 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 And that's what's going on now. The hearts of people are on evil continually. And Jesus, he said that uh, 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 as in the days of Noah, you know, uh, and we're living in those days now. People are, are wicked. You know, people are doing some wicked stuff. Yeah. Amen. Uh, and, and you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, the more wicked you see, the more you should get encouraged to walk with the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Because, yeah. because this wickedness is going to prevail. Yeah. Amen. You can pray all day that the Lord cease the wickedness. <laughs> the wickedness is not going to cease. No. Because it's all part of God's plan. Right. And he's warned us that it was going to happen. Amen. Yeah. So, so instead of uh, uh, being discouraged because of all the wickedness is prevailing, you should get encouraged. Uh, and know that your redemption or your redeemer is drawing out. Amen. Amen. So notice what he said. Read that verse again, Dean. For this they willingly are ignorant of, uh -huh. that by the word of God the heavens were of old, uh -huh. and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. All right, now notice he's using two witnesses, the word of God and, and the water. 
Amen. He's using two witnesses of, of what God did. God spoke his word, and then that water came. Amen. Hallelujah. You can't stop God's word. No. Hallelujah. God's word is going to come to pass. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Like I read. Whereby the world that it then was, uh -huh. being overflowed with water, perished. It didn't perish. Huh? Didn't it perish. Amen. The, the world perished. They drowned. Uh, they drowned. Uh, 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 those animals and everything that was in the ark survived. Amen. And that ark is a representation of Jesus Christ. And then everything that is in Christ will survive. Everything that's outside of Christ will perish. Amen? Hallelujah. All right, read. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in, in store, kept in store, reserved unto the fire, reserved unto the fire against the day of judgment and perdition of the ungodly man. All right, now notice, this is what he's saying. He said, but the heavens and the earth, which are now, uh, what's going on right now, he said, uh, uh, the same word are, are kept in store. Meaning, God had already said in his word that he was going to destroy the heaven and, and the earth. He's going to create a new heaven and a new earth. He said he's not going to destroy it by water, but he's going to destroy it by what? Fire. Fire. Amen? Amen. So, so, so he's making an analogy. God spoke his word, said that he was going to send a flood, and the flood happened. God right. sent his word, and he said that, 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 that he's going to destroy the heaven and earth by fire. Amen? And it's going to happen. Yeah. That's what he's saying. Hallelujah. That's what he's saying. Thank you, Jesus. So, so notice, he says, uh, uh, what verse was 17? Seven. Seven. He said, but the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store. So, so God has some fire and brimstone somewhere. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, so when he gives his word of authority for that fire and brimstone to ignite, it's going to ignite. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and it's going to happen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. It's going to happen. His judgment is going to happen. And, and he's saying this to stir you up. Huh? He's, yeah. he's saying this to encourage you. Yeah. Huh? So that you can draw closer to the Lord. Right. Huh? So that you don't be deceived or so that you don't be fooled by what the enemy is trying to do to deceive us. To move us away from our own steadfastness. Amen? Amen. Now, God's word is sure. How do you know God's word is sure? Amen. God's word is true. Hallelujah! <laughs> you can yeah. count on the word of God. Amen? Amen. Now, notice, verse number seven. He says, uh, 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 there is a reserve. In this, in this world is going to be reserved unto fire against the day of what? Judgment and perdition of who? Ungodly men. Men that live without God. Ungodly. That, that, don't, that don't recognize God as God. Ungodly people. That's what ungodly people are. They, they live as though God does not exist. Amen? And that's a foolish way to live. <laughs> the Bible says a fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Uh, and they prove that they don't believe that there is a God by the way they live. Uh, you shall know a tree by the what? The fruit it bears. All right, be. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Uh, don't be ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Now he said that. Because the people say, where is the judgment of the Lord? The world continues as it was uh, when our fathers were around and they are now asleep. So he's saying that, uh, uh, don't be ignorant of this one thing, that uh, uh, 
shall know it, shall pass away with a great noise. There's going to be a great noise. The heavens are going to pass away. Meaning that the heavens that, 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 that this realm that we're in uh, will cease to exist. Amen? It will cease to exist. Hallelujah. <laughs> the notice what he says. He says, it shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Now no, I want to show you the magnitude of what God is really saying. That, that everything that you see with your eyes. Uh, all those, all the places that we've been, and and the continents uh, that that are that are around, all the great buildings and skyscrapers, and houses, Amen. It's going to be leveled by God, yeah. and then nothing uh, will be bricked up upon brick. Everything is going to be swallowed up. Uh, uh, this is the magnitude of that. Yeah. Uh, we get we get all upset when there's a when there's a house fire. Huh? Yeah. You know, there's going to be a world on fire. Yeah. Uh, uh, and and destroy. Yeah. Uh, level. Uh, this is about the magnitude of that. Uh, I mean, all the, the continents that that exist. Amen. Uh, I mean, all.
that all these things shall be dissolved. What's going to be dissolved? The heavens and the earth. Uh, and these things were going to happen. Amen? Now notice what he said. Seeing that these things are going to happen, he says, uh, what uh, matter of person ought you to be in all holy conversation? And that conversation there means lifestyle. Right. Uh, seeing that these things are going to happen, what kind of holy lifestyle should you be living? Huh? He said, be ye holy, but what? I am holy. I am holy. God wants you to be holy oh. and live a holy way. Right. No, no. See, that these things are going to happen, to be resolved. Uh, 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 uh. What type of person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Uh, and that's, that's living a godly life. Amen. You ought to live holy uh, uh, in your daily interaction. That word conversation, yeah. it literally means intercourse, which means interaction. How you interact with people, it should be done in a holy way. Right. And you should uh, be godly. Amen. In all right. your ways. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, Pete. Looking forward and hasty unto the coming of the day uh -huh. Wherein the heavens be on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Now notice what he said. He said, looking for the hastening of, unto the coming of the day of God. That's what we're looking for. Amen. Saints should also be aware of the judgment. Right. Huh? Not just looking for the rapture. But also looking for the day of judgment. Right. Because uh, that's going to happen. Yes. That's a part of it. Hallelujah. And, 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 and what I mean by looking for the day of judgment, the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and it's also the beginning of knowledge. Uh, people that, that truly fear God, they won't do certain things. I'm knowing that the judgment of God is, is, is looming over their head. Yeah, cool. uh, uh, people that truly fear God, they don't get into uh, uh, fornication. They don't, wow. they, 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 they're mindful of telling lies. Uh, right. They're mindful of their lifestyle. Right. Amen. How uh, many people that truly fear God right. uh, and keep His commandments? Yes. Uh, those are the ones that really love Him. Right. Uh, and, yeah. And a lot of things, let me, let me, let me just break it down just for a minute. Uh, a lot of things uh, saints don't do not because their flesh doesn't desire it, but they don't do it because they know God and go for clothes on it. People that don't fear God uh, will do anything their flesh desires of them. Right. Uh, but people that fear God, they do what? Keep his commandments, and his commandments are not what? Grievous, amen? Which means they're not a burden. Huh? They don't bring any sorrow to you. You're happy to commit or to do the will of God. Right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right, read. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. Yeah. We're in dwelling righteousness. Now, now, not only are we mindful of the judgment, but we also look for a new heaven. Yeah, sure. uh, that's what I'm asking you were. Uh, where is what? Righteousness. Righteousness. God, what God calls right. Uh, that's what we're looking for. But, but there's no sense in looking for it if you're not living for it. Right. Uh, you got to live for it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Wherefore, beloved, see that you look for such things, be diligent, that you may be found and live in peace without spot and blameless. All right, now, notice in, his, in the first verse of this chapter, he said he wanted to stir you up. Amen? He wanted to stir you up. So, so he said to you, Wherefore, beloved, give me peace to all that. Which he's just said, hallelujah, that, 
there's going to be a fervent heat, that the judgment is going to come, yes. that the heaven and the earth yes. is going to be destroyed, there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. Yes. Now notice, he says, wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent. Amen. What does that word diligent mean? Ah, yeah. Amen. Hey, what else does it mean? What does that word diligent mean? Pay attention. Pay attention. Amen. Thank you. Pay attention. Amen. Pay attention. Right. Uh, and pay attention to what? Detail. Uh, watching over your life. Uh, and being faithful. Amen. Be faithful. Hallelujah. Uh, Go ahead. Yes, yes, you don't forget. That's necessary, isn't it? Don't, whoo, he said a mouthful there. Yeah, don't yeah. forget. Amen, because you can let these things slip. Yeah. That's what happened with David. He let these things slip. He forgot huh, that, that, that he served a God that knew everything. Right. Huh? He forgot huh, that, that, that God, God, so everything that he did, and, and that God is righteous and holy. Uh, and, and not only did that one time David forget, he forgot when, when uh, David struggled with pride at the time. Uh, when he's not with the children of Israel, uh, when he shouldn't. And his generals tell him, no, no, no. Tell him, David, you don't want to do that. Uh, because, because God doesn't want you to trust in armies. God doesn't want you to trust in numbers. God wants you to put your trust in Him. Right. Amen? Uh, so it's not about your bank account. It's not about how many friends you have. <laughs> Hallelujah! But it's about God. God. Uh, moving in your life. Yeah. Amen? Hallelujah. Yeah. So, 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 so when David did that, uh, uh, God, God sent judgment His way. Amen? Amen? Uh, so you got to be diligent about the things that be of God. Yeah. Uh, but is God pleased with my actions? Is God pleased with my, with my decisions? Because you can get in and get, get yourself distracted, which can move you away from God. Amen? Right. Uh, now I'm going to say it. Uh, uh, by, by being busy. Uh, uh, if, if you get busy, and not be busy about your father's business, that's a distraction. Yes. Amen. Yes. That can take you off the mark. Yes. yes. Amen. So he said, be diligent. Go ahead, be. Oh, I was going to say that uh, I, I heard someone said, if God showed you <coughs> everything that you need to get the victory over, it, it would be too much. Uh -huh. He allowed these tests to come your way to let you know what's in you. Yeah. It, it's not like. David probably didn't know the things within him. Uh -huh. but God wants to reveal what's in us so we can get rid of it. That's it. That's why we have to try. Don't go ignore it. God, what's that? I don't know what song. God is trying to tell you something or show you something. <laughs> I have that song, but God is. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He's trying to tell us something. Hard to read it. What verse she in? 14. All right, 14. Wherefore, beloved, see that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace. Now, no, you got to be diligent. Check your lifestyle so that you can be found in him in peace. Amen? In peace. Thank you, Lord. You want to watch. You want to pray. Huh? Uh, Although our, our salvation is secure in Christ, your position can be compromised by your actions. Amen? Uh, so we got to walk. My feet hasn't left the ground yet. Uh, I still can be tempted. Am I right? You still can be tempted. Huh? Right. Oh, boy. Right. I, got, I got one right. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Uh, you still can be overthrown by the enemy. If you don't watch, if you don't pray, 
continue with it tomorrow. Uh, so I, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to continue on my wicked way, and then sooner or later I'll get a mind to repent and leave it go. Uh, folks think like that, uh, but you don't know how much time you got. No. Uh, and the Bible says, shall we continue in sin that God's grace may abide? Notice what He said, God forbid. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. My God. My God. Read. Even as I was. Now notice, now he's quoting Paul. And to tell you something about uh, the letters of Paul. Amen. How, how, how Peter esteemed the writings of Paul. Amen. He even included him in his epistle, name by name. Amen. So he said, uh, according to the wisdom given unto him, have he written unto you. Uh, so he said, he's letting you know that Paul has some wisdom. <laughs> Hallelujah. Read. As also in all of this, all of this epistle, uh -huh. speaking in the, of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. Now, Paul got deep in it sometimes. Amen. But, but the thing that Peter has covered in this epistle, Paul also has covered in his right. epistle. Amen. Read. And the Bible says, out of the mouth of two or three, every word is what? Established. Established. Read. Which, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest. Meaning, uh, those that, that, that don't have a revelation of God, or don't have a wisdom of God, they wrestle with the scriptures to their own destruction. Mm. Amen. Uh, you don't want to do that. Read. And they do also the other scriptures until their own destruction. Uh, and that's, that's, that's detriment. Read. Ye therefore, beloved, see, see ye know these things before. Beware, lest ye also be led away with the error of the wicked. Fall from the own, your own steadfastness. Now look. He said, therefore, ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, this Bible life that we're teaching, right. the readings of the word, uh, and the things you know about God. Right. He said, uh, beware, least ye also, because, you know, uh, in Noah's day, they didn't believe it was going to rain. But it rained. Am I right? Right. Uh, uh, in in, in uh, Lot's day, uh, God, God burnt it up. Yes. Got Sodom and the Lord because of wickedness. Amen. God, God uh, turned on Pharaoh, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, God, God, if you allow me to say it, God turned on Israel uh, and Judah. Uh, why? Because of their wickedness. Am I right? God, God, God turned on the angels uh, that sinned against him. Amen? So let me ask you a question. How shall we escape uh, if we neglect uh, so great salvation? <laughs> Hallelujah, my God. Y'all with me? Hey, I'm trying to stir you up. I'm still stirring you up. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, so knowing these things, these things we know. Amen? We know these things. Uh, so, so, so don't be deceived by the enemy. Right. Don't let the devil deceive. Right. Don't let your chest and trials deceive. Right. Don't let nobody deceive you. False prophets, false teachers, uh, false preachers. <laughs> Am I right? right. False, false friends. Mommy, see, mommy. 
that's just simply following the leader. Amen. Right. Amen. That, that well, well, if so and so did it, uh, I didn't see uh, God go close on them, so I'm going to do it. Hmm. Uh, you got some people like that. Man. Amen. No, it's wrong. No. But the Bible says, because the judgment of God isn't executed speedily, the hearts of men are fully set in them to do evil. Hmm. Amen. Right. So, so if you go and see a, a wrongdoing, and it can be in the church. Remember when I say the church, I'm talking about the physical church. Because the spiritual church, there's no sin in it. Amen. All sin is committed outside of the body of Christ. Y'all follow? Me? Now, if you see somebody doing wicked and evil, and you don't see God striking them dead, sometimes that can embolden people because they have an evil desire to want to do it themselves. Right. Huh? Uh, and be led away, be led away huh? by that error. Right. Amen. You got to watch. Right. You go. Be live over. Huh? And, and watch. Now, you can't judge the salvation of others, but you can judge their actions. Yeah. Amen. Right. Whether or not you should participate right. in it. Huh? Am I right? Amen. Huh? Amen. You can look at a situation and judge it. God gives you the Holy Ghost. God right. gives you the Word so right. that you can judge, so Amen. that you can discern between Amen. good and evil. Amen. Amen. Use your discernment. Often <laughs> right. uh, there's some conversation you know you shouldn't be involved in. Don't be involved in. Right. Uh, some deeds and some actions. Even your flesh want to get in. But you got to subdue your flesh. Right. Even that is subjection. Right. Amen. And you know that in the word of God, that God is, is rejecting that behavior. And even though know somebody else may be doing it, don't you get involved. No. Amen. Be, be an innocent, Boston. Yeah, right. <laughs> Amen. Be innocent. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Why? Watch and pray. We in we in uh, uh, Second Peter uh, chapter number three and verse seventeen. What's it say? Ye therefore, beloved, see ye know these things before. Beware that ye also be led away with the error of the wicked. Step far from your own steadfast. Now look, he said, ye therefore, beloved. See, you know these things. You know what the will of God is. You, you know by the scriptures what God has done by history uh, to wicked men. Seeing that you know that he's going to create a new heaven and a new earth. Amen. And this, this earth and this heaven is going to burn up uh, with burning heat. It's going to pass away. <laughs> Hallelujah. We know these things. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So God is true. Amen. His word is true. Am I right? Hallelujah. So he said, he said, he's still trying to stir you up. He said, uh, uh, you know these things? Beware. Amen. Y'all see the sign. Uh, beware of God. <laughs> Y'all see that? Uh, and some people put that up there as a deterrent. Uh, uh, and they may not even have a dog. Uh, but, but when you see that sign, something in you goes up. Yeah. Uh, you start listening. Those senses heighten. Amen? Uh -huh. right. uh, you start looking around. Right. Uh, you start tipping lightly. Why? Because you, you read the sign. Right. 
that are wicked, that are evil, that are deceitful. Amen? Yeah. Right? You're going to let yourself go from there. And if you fall from your own what? Steadfastness. Now that's the direct scripture against what saved, always saved. The angels, they were in heaven, but they fell. Right. Am I right? Hallelujah. People that were righteous and holy, they fell. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. You, if you turn your heart away from God, you can also fall. Right. Amen. Right. So you want to lie. <laughs> you want to lie. All right. Me. But grow in grace. Now go. He said, you're going to continue to grow. Right? Don't grow in weakness, no. but grow in the grace of God. Of God. Amen. His strength, right. his power, his might. Read. And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, now you want to grow in God's grace, and you also want to grow in your knowledge of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yo, you should always be receiving deeper revelations of Christ. Amen? Amen. Uh, more than he's the son of God. Hallelujah. Uh, more than that. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, you, the scripture says in the book of Hebrews, you should leave the principles of the doctrine. Uh, those are the basics. Yes. And go on to perfection. Right. Amen? You should get a deeper revelation of the Holy Ghost other than saying, I got it. Right. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What, what is it for? What does it do? Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. By God. And live by it. Yes. That's how you get a deeper revelation. By living by it. Right. Amen. We want to let you know. Right. Amen. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Amen. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. All right, any questions on our Bible study on tonight? Can you feel it? No, uh, it's some characters. <laughs> uh, I call them uh, appointed demons by Satan. And they'll, they'll go with you for a while. They'll, 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 they'll build your trust in them. They'll be your friend and all that type of stuff. But <laughs> they'll lead you astray. Their yeah. mission is to kill, steal, and to destroy. Yeah. And they, 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 can, they can play the game years. Yeah. Because they are appointed to de destroy you. Wow. That's true. <laughs> you have to be careful. You have to. There are people out there. I'm going to say this. You know, y'all may not agree with me. But there are people that, that the enemy has assigned uh, to cause you trouble. Yeah. That's true. Amen. <laughs> yeah. So what does water symbolize in that? Has water for a flood, water for baptism, water come out of Jesus' side. What does the water symbolize? Uh, uh, the water, depending on how it's used in the scripture, it can be uh, used for destruction, it can be used for trouble, uh, it can be used for purity and, and cleansing. Amen. In, in the sense of Jesus, that water coming out of his side in baptism is used for cleansing, uh, purification. Amen. And then when it's used for uh, uh, the flood, it's used for destruction. So it just depends on the context of how it's used in the scripture. Very good question. Very good question. Any other questions? This is good. Uh, all right. Well, we certainly praise God and thank God for you all uh, attending. Uh, I know that there's, uh, there's a storm coming, we say. Thank you, Lord. So let us be mindful of that and keep ourselves in the great mission that we all can say, be saved and saved. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. All right. We thank God for our tutors in. Uh, if you have an opportunity to give through our tithing, you're welcome to give.